Hi everyone, welcome to MHS TV. I'm Matt Rendell and here's your news for Friday, September 4th, 2020. Work permits for the summer were put on hold due to the COVID pandemic, but will be required starting September 9th. If you're looking to start a job, you'll need a work permit. You can get these from your employer or manager and you'll need to fill it out and get the required information. Once you've filled it out, you'll need to take a clear picture and send it to your dean for your grade. Once your permit is approved, you'll receive an email from the MHS bookstore to come pick it up from MHS between 310 and 355. Also on September 9th, which is next Wednesday, the school board will be meeting in the administrative center. The board will discuss what its plans are for the future of this school year, as well as other important SCM updates. It will be shown live on the Mishawaka Network's YouTube channel, so stay tuned for more updates when they become available. On Wednesday, School City of Mishawaka released Phase 2 of the Roadmap to Reopening Plan. This plan sees students from kindergarten to sixth grade returning to full-time in-person learning starting on September 21st. Students in grades 7 through 12 will be going into a hybrid model where they'll go to school half-time and be virtual half the time. For all students, there is still an option to do a full-time, five days a week virtual learning. And now for some Mishawaka sports updates. Last Friday, the cavemen traveled to Rice Field to take on the newly formed Elkhart High School. The cavemen were great in the first half, taking a half-time lead of 14 to 9. But in the second half, Elkhart would come out firing on all cylinders to walk away with a 35-28 win. In the game, Connor Addison had over 90 yards rushing, an interception, and a touchdown pass, while Justin Fisher had over 100 yards rushing and three rushing touchdowns. Now onto the pitch, the boys and girls soccer team struggled to keep up in their first NLC action. The girls started off strong this season, but the streak didn't last as they lost to both Adams and Goshen in last week's action. The boys also lost their run of success, kicking off their NLC careers with a loss to Wawasee on Monday night, with Caleb Johnson scoring the lone goal for the Cavemen. In the gym this past week, the Mishawaka volleyball team took on Gymtown and then on Saturday competed in the seven-team Mishawaka Invitational here at MHS. On Thursday night, the Mishawaka volleyball team played some amazing volleyball, beating the Jimmies in just three straight sets. Then on Saturday, the girls would compete in that Mishawaka invite, and they made it all the way to the final match. In that championship match, they did fall to Warsaw two sets to zero. This year at MHS, changes have been put in place. With change on the horizon and pandemic on our heels, we must adapt to overcome everything that's thrown at us. With this MHS school year, we've changed the way we're going to broadcast sports. We used to broadcast our sports on YouTube, but to watch your favorite MHS sporting events, you can visit IHSATV.org or download the IHSAA TV app on any Android or Apple product. In the fall, we're broadcasting all home volleyball and football games. While the volleyball games will be free to watch, football games will cost $9.99 to stream to help support the athletic department. The end of the grading period is coming closer and closer, officially ending on September 18th. Here's some tips to help you stay on top of your work. Number one, keep up with Skyward and make sure your assignments are done. And make sure they're properly turned in. Make sure to talk to your teachers about any questions or concerns during your Google Meet sessions. Number two, make sure you're attending those Google Meet sessions. Make sure you respond to any questions that are asked from you. Unmute your mic and make sure you're showing up on time, ready to do your work. And last, but definitely not least, make sure you email, email, email any questions, concerns, or problems that you have with your teachers. That's gonna be the primary way to get the necessary information you need about courses. Well, that's all your news for this week. Tune in next week as we have updates on school schedules and much more. Good luck tonight to the football team, and have a great weekend, cavemen.